Hello again, welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a slice text effect in Photoshop. I am Mr. 23, let's begin. Start by creating a new document and then uh, let's choose a nice background. I choose this gradient and then I click here on the gradient. I choose the blue one and I reverse the colors and I make it radial. Great. Now, next step, let's write our own text. You can press T or select it from here, horizontal type tool. I'm writing Mr. 23 and now to make the text bigger, you can choose the size from here, write whatever you want or you can press Ctrl T and drag this all the way up where you need the text to be. Now, to center this text exactly in the center of our document, you keep pressing Ctrl and this background layer, just have those two ones clicked and now look on the top and check the horizontal center and vertical center. Now you have it, place it in the center of our document. First of all, let's make this one a smart object. I make it a smart object so in the future if I need the same effect in another document, I just modify the text and it does all the effect. Now, take the marquee tool and draw something like that on top of it. Now press the mask and it did the slice. You duplicate this one, right click, duplicate layer, let's name it top text and the, the other one, let's name it bottom text. And now in order to make this visible, you have to invert the mask colors. So the black should be white and the white should be black. In order to do that, you invert by pressing Ctrl and I. Here you go. Now, if you want to move in order to see the slice, you can use the mouse, you can see, or you can use the keyboard left or top. It already does a nice job. If you want to modify the text, just double click on this one and now write here anything you want. One, two, three, four, for example, and save this by pressing Ctrl and S and if you come back, it does a nice job. You don't need to do everything again. Close this one. And now, I undo the move. In order to show you another part of this tutorial, let's hide those ones. Let's make a group, hide it. And we start again by writing another text. Make it again bigger, convert it, to a smart object, align it with the background, and now let's do another type of cut. Take this polygonal lasso tool by pressing L and drag a line from here to the other side. Close it and then use the mask. Again, right click and duplicate the layer, call it top text and the other one bottom text. Let's invert the colors, Ctrl and I. Move it to the side and here you go. Now let's make a group from this one and hide it. Let's come back to the first one because I forgot something here. So I want to add a shadow here so it looks like the top one casts a shadow on top of the bottom one. How do we do that? You make a, you create a new layer, let's call it shadow. And now take the brush tool by pressing the B, go here, hold shift and you have your line. Now bring this one inside the bottom text layer by holding alt and clip it inside. Now it looks too much and we can change the opacity it already looks nice. Now, because I forgot to do that in the beginning, let's come back to our second group and do the same thing. Open the group, go between those layers, make, create a new layer, let's call it shadow. And now 
because we have our diagonal line, let's do the same thing, but then we have another step. We draw the line here, and now, as you can see, I have to rotate it. You press Ctrl and T, and you rotate it by the angle that you want. I think this is it. Now, double click on it and pre and now place it inside the bottom text. Do the same thing with opacity, play a bit with it. And I think we should rotate it even more to the top part. So, Ctrl T again and just rotate it by a bit. Great. We have our text. Now, let's move on. To the next phase. I want to, to do more with this text. Let's do some text effects from here, from the layer style. First thing, I want to make it to look like a rock. So I choose here from the pattern overlay and multiply this one, the pattern, which looks like a rock. You can choose anything else. You can choose a tree, you can choose a grass one, depends on your final result. The water one. Anyway, so I choose this one. And now look, my text looks even better. I go back. What? Uh, another thing that I want to do, it's cast a shadow. But I want to do even more. Uh, I want to have the shadow to be seen only a bit. So I go here to the stroke and change the opacity to zero and the position to outside and you can play with the size like this. You see, if the size is one, you can see almost the full shadow. But if I go more with the size of it, I can see only a bit of the shadow, which I think looks nicer. Yeah. And now let's press here bevel and emboss. As you can see, it looks even better. I have those settings. Usually they are the standard one. I didn't uh, play with those that much now, but you can try different uh, angles. Be aware of the global light because anything you change here changes to the whole image if you have many other layers. Now you can close it and let's look at the final result. I think it looks really nice. So, this looks like a really nice cut and a really nice text effect. We can do even more. You can choose a gradient and play with the angles. You can play here uh, with the colors. Uh, depends on what you want. You can uh, take again the blue one or I don't know the, the purple one. It's up to you. Whatever you want to achieve, you can change and play with the uh, opacity, uh, with the angle, as you can see, if you move the angle, it's uh, moving the it moves the gradient to that side. So I think this is it, and it looks really nice. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my work.